Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for May 13th. We're looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair closed down on Friday, did create an inside bar, uh, dropped some long-term trend lines. We'll get into that here in a little bit. Overall, moving sideways, look for this pair to potentially go as high as 80.30, possibly as low as 79.41. Look for some resistance around 80.15 and look for some support around 79.50. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair gapped down during this last uh, uh, during this the open of this last week. Our last week's gap did not retrace. Uh, happens about nine percent of the time. The other uh, eighty-nine percent, ninety percent, somewhere in there, re does retrace by the end of the week. This one did not, so it'll be interesting to see this week's uh, has a much shorter gap to fill, only twenty-one pips. Um, I would actually be surprised if we don't fill both of them by the week's end. However, with that said, we are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 130.11, possibly as low as 128.04. Look for some resistance around 129.60 and look for some support around 128.50. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed down during uh, Friday's session, ran right into previous areas of support, pulled back just a hair to close. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 162.03, possibly as low as 159.61. Look for some resistance around 161.50 and look for some support around 160.15. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed uh, up on Friday. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 0, 93.68, possibly as low as 0, 92.30. Look for some resistance around 0, 93.25 and look for some support around 0, 92.50. Now as far as news announcements go, we do have one news announcement being released. We have uh, today, actually, we have the Chinese releasing their uh, new loans for April. Consensus on that one is that it's dropped from uh, 10, uh, 1,010 billion down to 70 or 780 billion. Now at 9:30 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, we have the Reserve Bank of Australia releasing their board minutes for May. Of course, the numbers have already been released, so most likely it will, will not affect the market. Now, switching back over to the U.S.-Japanese yen pair, uh, we talked about this briefly. I have some long-term trend lines drawn. Let me back out a little bit. You can actually see uh, where I'm getting those. You can see that we have a long-term trend line to the downside that's been hit multiple times. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven times on the way down at least. Then we have a long-term trend line uh, coming from the upside, been hit uh, two or three times there. Once here, uh, looking for the consolidation and breakout. Now, we are not using the trend lines for the breakout, which is kind of interesting, a little bit of twist on this. Uh, we are using, however, the fact that uh, we have an inside bar. We're using that as our trigger on Friday. We if the Friday session was low volume, creating an inside bar. We're using that as our trigger for a buy order or a sell order. We'd have a buy order uh, potentially at 80.01, so we'd want to enter around 80.02 and then look to exit at the trend line, long term trend line. Uh, to the downside, probably not enough room here to, uh, or there's not enough room for an actual trade because both of them are so close. Uh, which is kind of interesting as well if it breaks the the trend line long-term trend line at that point You could look for it to take out this low and grab uh, a few pips there to the upside That move would roughly be a 50 pip move that we'd be looking for uh, You could use the other side of the inside bar about 42 pip stop loss So a little bit better than one-to-one -one on that one now as far as a sell order um you know, from, from our breakout of our inside bar to the long-term trend line, you're talking about three pips. Definitely not enough room to profit. We're going to look for a short off of the trend line uh, right around the 79.54 mark and then looking to grab about 13 pips, 10 pips, somewhere in that range, 10 to, basically 10 to 15 pips uh, down at 79.41 when we hit 
previous areas of support off of this low. Well, I hope that helps, and until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.